Hey, this is me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shade Empire Season 2, Episode 13 Review. So, we start off this episode with everybody at Camilla's Repass. I was there. I bought a good peach cobbler. I bought some cornbread. Um, and I bought some greens with some ham hocks in it. Um... I still don't believe the bitch dead because I need to see a body. We ain't even seen no body. What was she cremated? Like, where were the body at? I don't believe that bitch is dead. I need to see Naomi laid out in the casket like this. So, nobody knows what happened to her except for Lucius, of course. Everybody thinking it was some kind of fluke-ass accident. So, Rhonda has been named the new creative director of Empire's Fashion Line. That old Dots. <laughs> house of Darion looking bullshit you know I goes up for Beyonce but that House of Darion shit was some trash so Andre is on some new medication God thank you so Lucius skipped the repass honey he didn't want to come to the wake instead he was at uh the office up in his chair you know trying to get his old CEO shit back on so Lucius thinks that Hakeem killed her and Hakeem was like I didn't kill her <laughs> and I was like we, we know you didn't your daddy did so, it's Cookie's first birthday outside the clink, and she wants to have a good old red lobster dinner, honey. She want to have a good steak and potatoes, bitch. She want all the family to be there. So, Lucius wants to shoot his new video back in Philly, where he grew up at or whatever. And Cookie want to know how he ended up sleeping in front of a cowardly lion statue as a child. Like, nigga, where the fuck was your mama that you was out here ripping around the streets as a child of my nigga? So, Lucius don't want to discuss his mama because, you know, that's a sore subject for him. So, Lemon uh, Meringue Pie, the little group or whatever, whatever them hoes name, was giving us three LW uh, T's on the stage. And I was here for their little song, whatever. They look cute. So, the little Janae, Janae Aiko bitch in the group goes over time. And Tiana is pissed. Because you know Tiana don't get no airtime as it is. She need all the airtime that she can fucking get. So, Jamal and Hakeem go to find Free the Gats, a.k.a. Uh, Fantasia Days Loaf. <laughs> so, they go looking for her in the uh, BK projects or whatever. And they have a little impromptu free concert for all the little poor kids or whatever. So, Jamal wants to record a song with her, but she ain't feeling it because, you know, Lucius is like her daddy Warbucks, you know. She's like Annie and he's her daddy Warbucks and she's all in it, honey. So, Lucius and Cookie uh, are going through model pics to find somebody to play his old psycho-ass mama. And, you know, he's having a real hard time adjusting to this whole thing. So, Frida uh, comes to the set for the video and soon realizes that not only has she been cut from the video but she's been cut from the song despite the fact that she wrote half that son of a bitch so she realizes that what jamal and hakeem was trying to tell her about how lucius ass ain't shit he'll play her at the drop of a dime was true so um fantasia days loaf <laughs> decides to hop on the track with jamal then to get back at lucius so lucius freaks out when he sees everything coming together for the video and the chick playing his mama it's just way too much for him. So Lucius finally tell Cookie uh, what happened to his mama and how she was de manic depressive and killed herself in front of him. And, you know, she is just like floored because she ain't know none of this shit. And she been fucking with this nigga half her life. So he tells her, you know, how he slept on the streets and was eating out of trash cans and shit. And I was like, ew, nigga, you need to go to the doctor and make sure that stomach is together. That's why you sick, nigga. That's why you were sick last season because you was eating out of trash can for six months of your life. So um, he did all that to avoid social services. So... Um, he also reveals that Frank Gathers, a.k.a. Chris Rock, was the one that got him into hustling. So, Cookie encourages him to tell the whole world the truth. And he was like, why? And she was like, nigga, because I did 17 years for a man whose real name I didn't even know. And I was like, that was the best line of this whole motherfucking season. Because, you know, I thought this season so far has been trash. But Cookie delivered that line. Taraji B. Henson really delivered that line. So, Lucius is having a hard time on set again so cookie clears out the whole entire room including that harper scott bitch that i do not like i don't like that whole i think him her and lucius gonna start fucking around so lucius is grateful for her support because you know she really was holding him down doing this video shoot you know he still got a soft spot in his heart for good old cookie monster so don't nobody want to come to cookie birthday dinner because of lucius and she's pissed off about it honey because she wanted all her family around for a good old sunday dinner with some kool-aid and some watermelon and shit and some good old fried chicken and she was gonna get the big piece and jamal thinks she's falling for lucius again and it's obvious that she is. You know, she love that little light-skinned dick. So, Cookie arrives in her pink fur to her little uh, birthday dinner for two. And she's pissed off because 
uh, Lucius got her a builder bar. <laughs> he only like a builder bar. He like got that shit from Walgreens. So to her surprise, all the kids are there, and she's just so excited and happy. And then Cookie dumbass decides to ruin all the fun by showing everybody uh, Lucius uh, video. And everybody is looking like, damn, nigga, what kind of life was you living? Like, this look like some first 48 type shit. And Andre is watching it. He's really fucked up because he's realized his grandma was just as crazy as fuck he was. So he gets up and confronts Lucius to find out. Did he know the whole time that his mama was um, made depressive? And Lucius like, yeah, but we ain't had no name for it, you know, when I was growing up. So, you know, Lucius tells <clears throat> Andre that he's embarrassed by him just like he was embarrassed by his mama. And I was like, God damn, you light-skinned motherfucker. You is a demon. God damn it. Light-skinned people are so cruel. And, you know, I'm halfway light-skinned, so I guess I'm cruel, too. <laughs> so, Hakeem wants a picturesque family like Lujanae Aika and her Filipino family. So, he decides to propose to her sawed off ass. And Rhonda is walking down the streets, walking to I don't know where the fuck. And Anika picks her up, and she tells Anika that she is tired, honey. She just needs a rest. She's tired of taking her Andre and his little retarded ass tantrums. And so Anika offers to let her stay with her for a few days. And I'm like, well, bitch, lock the door if you're going to stay in the, in the house with her, because that bitch is crazy. She already tried to kill you, unbeknownst to you. So, um... And I know some of y'all don't think that she kicked her down the steps. I don't know who the fuck kicked her down the steps. I'm leaning towards the nigga, but who the fuck knows? So, uh, Hakeem and Jamal in the studio with Cookie, and she in the studio looking like the flying nun. And if y'all don't know who the flying nun is, just Google the flying nun, because that damn top she had on that studio scene was fucking terrible. So, Frida Gats comes, and she's on the mic rapping with Jamal, and she raps about how she's Frank Gavin's daughter, and Cookie realizes that, oh my god, this little Dej Loaf, Fantasia Dej Loaf looking bitch is Frank Gather's daughter and realizes that her and Lucius had her daddy killed and that if this bitch find out, it's gonna be murder! <laughs> so, that was the whole episode. I get this episode. It, this is one of the best episodes so far this season. It really touched me because they slowed down the pace. They really got their thought across. It wasn't so fast and all jumbled up and all over the place. So I give this episode a B minus. It was it was good for the most part. Outside of that top cookie head on that last scene. Tell me what you think about tonight's episode. You give it an A, B, D, C, F. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. Leave your comments tonight uh, on your, your thoughts on tonight's comment. Um, blah, give me your thoughts on tonight's episode down in the comment section. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit the thumbs up on this. I don't know who that motherfucker is that watches my shit as soon as I fucking load it and hits the down uh, thumbs down button. But whoever it is, bitch, go suck a dick. You're miserable. I don't know who the fuck you are. You've been doing this since I've been on fucking YouTube. Get a life. Get a dick. Get some pussy. Get find Jesus. Bitch, find Blue Ivy, goddamn, because you's a bored bitch. But anywho, I love y'all.